Hi, this is Travis from Tenno Farms. I'm just doing a garden update. The garden that got away from me really bad this year. I actually do still have some production going on here. Got some squash. This is some kind of a, a strange hybrid here from some of the seeds I had before that we saved. They must have cross-pollinated. It looks like it was one of the large green striped squash, but it kind of crossed with the yellow one. Here's the regular yellow. I really like these yellows. They're my favorite. We got another little one starting here. There's a little yellow squash. The grapes I've grabbed onto the wire now and are starting to go across the trellis wire. So that's exciting. At least two of the three have. One's still a little too short to reach. But I'm training them to, to follow the wire now. We had some green beans in here. They were starting, but they look like they kind of shriveled up. The rabbits really ate the green beans. As soon as they all came up uh, through the cardboard and around the cardboard, they just started really getting them. But I've got a few left in here, but I don't have any production on them yet. We may get some even through all these weeds. This is the grapevine that uh, isn't tall enough yet quite to get on the trellis. But before long I'll be able to take it up here and, and put it up on the wire. I didn't get any sorghum over here despite putting it all out. So I don't know if, if uh, I just don't have a good climate for it or good soil for it or just had bad luck this year since I really let this grass and stuff get in here. I did get some amaranth there, which is another kind of grain. So I could maybe make some the best of that and spread it a little bit. This grape is doing really well here. This one's really going down the vine, down the wire. I love how they just grab on there like that. And I take them and just kind of manually wrap them when I get it close and then it just follows right along once it gets a hold of it. I don't know what this plant is here. I had some peppers in here. And it looks a little bit like a pepper plant, but not. Like these little husks are kind of hollow. I don't know what they are. First I thought it was a habanero, but now I don't know what they are. So if anybody knows what that is, let me know. We've got carrots over here. See all the little carrot plants. These are from seeds that I put in years ago and they just keep reseeding and coming back each year. So I'm really happy about that. I don't have to do anything and I get little carrots. There's some more carrots there. And of course, I got lots of the uh, um, daikon radishes still in here. They keep reseeding themselves. You can see some of the older ones there that are dried up, but I've got a lot of newer, fresher ones too. I've been eating the bean pods off of those every once in a while. They're pretty good. And then, of course, right here, got our sage. I'm really excited about the sage. I didn't get any before, and now it popped up. Got the cucumbers here. You can see one right there that's about ready. These are small, like uh, like mini pickle cucumbers. So that one's about ready. Got a little tiny one just starting here. I learned my lesson with these cucumbers, not to let them get too big. They just kind of blow out if you do. They kind of rot from the inside, and they're just kind of nasty. But when they're little, they're really good. And I've got a whole bunch of oregano here. It's just all through here, all intermixed with these weeds. My basil didn't make it. I had it right over here by the cucumbers. Never did see any. Let me take a closer look, though. I might have some in there. No, it doesn't look like, I'm, doesn't look like it made it. And of course I got morning glories all over here that come back every year. 
The leaves on those look a lot like sweet potatoes. I think they're in the same family, actually. There you can see some of the daikon radish pods. These things are great. They just come back every year and they basically till your garden for you. If you leave them in the ground, they rot, you get worms. It's great for the garden. Let's see if we got anything in here. We've got some flowers on these squash. I love squash. And then of course, lots of trees coming up in here that I'm gonna transplant. This is a catalpa. These are all catalpas here. So those are all gonna be transplants. And there in that mess in the middle, I've got some pear trees and some uh, black mulberry. So I'm gonna dig those up and move them. And I'm probably gonna, th those pears are probably a Bradford, like a, you know, the little pears, we get white flowers, but they're not edible. I'm gonna try and graft on some of my Bartlett's and some of my other good pears onto those. So we'll see how that works. I've never done that before, but I got a grafting knife and I've been watching some videos on how to do it. So when I do it, I'll, I'll put something out on that. Another catalpa, another catalpa there. So those things are springing up like crazy. All right, thank you for watching.